Hot Toys Star Wars figures. They're great, but they're kind of missing something. Look at that. Now you can actually see the lightsaber. Interested in learning how to make one? Well, stay tuned because you've come to the right video. And welcome back to another episode of Crafted by Metamorphic Customs. I have to start off this episode by giving a shout out to Denny's Wang. Uh, his YouTube channel is really what inspired me and basically taught me uh, the tricks to make this CCFL lightsaber. So I'm attempting to make my own tutorial and hopefully this one will help you out. What I'm going to start off with is this 3D printed Vader lightsaber in my right hand. The one in my left hand is the actual Hot Toys Vader saber. Now you can do this on the actual Hot Toys Vader hilt. Um, in fact, that's how I did all my like my first Hot Toys um, CCFL lightsabers. I drilled directly into the Hot Toys hilt. But if you have the ability to 3D print a, a hilt, you can do that instead. And the idea is to gradually use larger and larger drill bits until you get to this size right here, which is 530 seconds. Yes, I know that's kind of weird, but that's the size or the width of a drill bit that I find the best for drilling down this 1-6 scale Hot Toys hilt. Uh, so you just drill halfway down the hilt. So about right there. You drill down all the way there. And then after that, you're going to drill a hole coming in from the outside of the saber to the middle cavity you've previously drilled out with your bigger drill bit. Now this hole you're going to drill from the outside. You can drill it straight on in at a 90 degree angle or slightly uh, at a 45 degree angle. Either way is fine. The reason you're drilling this outer hole is so you can pull the wires through. This outer hole, now this, this is a tiny hole. This only needs to be about two millimeters wide so you can use a two millimeter drill bit here uh, to drill through it and I'm using obviously I'm doing this with a uh, pin vise uh, with my hand and as you can see once you've drilled that through that hole is open to the exterior hole you've previously drilled now we're working with the actual CCFL tube so this is the CCFL tube you can get these on Amazon I'll uh, provide a link and they come with this uh, inverter. Some people call this a rectifier. Uh, it's a little blue box and you can hook up actually two of the tubes to it. And this inverter box doesn't normally come connected to this, this plug that plugs into the AC adapter. Normally it's just bare. It, come, it comes with the red and black wires you see there and it's not connected to anything. But I've connected it to this plug to allow me to plug it into a wall. Um, I didn't record that part of the process because it's very easy. It's literally, you can get these, I'll give you a link for the plugs and you can just wire to wire connect it using the electrical tape. It's very, very easy. Um, and this allows you to plug it into an AC adapter to the wall. The reason it comes bare is because you also have the option to plug it into a nine volt battery instead. But for my purposes, I prefer to plug it into my wall so that I can control it via a Wi-Fi remote. And then, as I said, that plug goes plugged into this AC adapter. So let's plug in this AC adapter there and then plug in the other end to this. And then we'll plug in the tube, the CCFL tube, to this box here, this inverter. And voila, as you can see, it glows little dim not dim it's bright but it's a little pink don't worry we'll take care of that later but first let's put on some protective eyewear that's very important here because we're about to use a dremel to free the ccfl tube from its current plastic prison because all we need is that inner tube now this part seems very delicate very <laughs> surgery like but it's actually not that hard the trick here is to use this rotary uh, Dremel tool to cut out the CCFL. And you gotta cut the exterior plastic housing without damaging the CCFL tube inside. This, at first, it seems nerve-wracking, but 
out of all the CCFL sabers I've put together, I have yet to break any CCFL tube during this process. It really is easy. Just gently, very gently, start drilling into this. Just keep tilting the plastic housing until it's until it detaches really. I've sped this up. I'm, I was actually going a lot slower when I was doing this. But just nice and steady. And don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, if you're enjoying this video. And when it's ready, you kind of just gently pull the housing. And there you go. You've got your free CCFL tube. And then you're going to kind of just push it through this other other end, so other part, and just remove that. You're not going to need that. But you can't remove it yet because you've got this uh, you've got this part here, uh, which is very important. We're going to cut this off, but we're going to keep that because we're going to need that later. Do not get rid of this connector part. You're going to cut it off about give it a two three inches maybe, and keep that handy because you absolutely need that uh, for later. Then we're going to continue to free this. So let's take off the heat sinks, uh, these electrical tape looking things at the end. And you're going to take this off both ends by carefully cutting into it with um, a hobby knife, an X-Acto blade. And you're just going to peel that off, um, peel it all the way off. There will be probably two layers here uh, because they have to insulate both wires. There you go. And then after that, you're also going to have to take the heat sink off the other end. And then you'll be left with the CCFL tube with the two wires connected. One thin wire, you can barely see there. Let's see, look at my left hand there. One thin wire connected at the top. And at the other end of that thin wire is a, is a cable. And then the other cable connected on the other end of the CCFL tube. Uh, this is essentially what we're going to try to reproduce, but the reason we can't use what's currently there is because the top thin wire is too short and the bottom wire is too thick. So we're just going to remove those for now. We're not going to discard this cable yet. You'll see why. And I'm cutting off the one at the other end as well. I'm taking off the little, little bit of clamp. The only thing that I'm left with now, this is the bare CCFL tube. And now what I'm doing is I took one of those white cables I cut off and I'm taking off the actually the, the white silicone rubber coating it has and inside it's got a bunch of little metal wires. I need one of those. I just need one metal wire and I'm going to attach that to the top of the CCFL tube. I'll show you how but I need one of those long wires. That's all I need. I'm going to take that long, thin wire and I'm going to wrap it around one of the ends of the CCFL tube. Let's call this the top of the CCFL tube, the top of the lightsaber. Just so gently wrap it around. And now I'm going to solder it using a soldering iron and soldering wire. I try to use the thinnest wire I could find and make this easier. And you just got to touch it there and that's it. I'm not an expert of soldering, but it's pretty simple. You can barely see it there, but it's just got a little bit there and I kind of tug at the wire to make sure it's on there. Next up, I'm going to use 30 gauge wire. I'll put a link to this in the description as well, but 30 gauge wire, you can get it on Amazon. And I'm going to cut about, let's say an 18 inch 20 or to 24 inch strip of this 30 gauge wire. And I'm going to attach one end of that wire to the other end of the CCFL tube. Remember on one end we got the thin little one strand of, of wire and then on this end we've got the 30 gauge cable or wire and we're going to solder that 30 gauge cable to the other end of the CCFL tube. Pretty tight and remember this is about 18 to 24 inches. Now what I'm going to do is going to use a little bit of liquid electrical tape. I like to use this to completely cover that soldering area that I've soldered to insulate that part of the wire because uh, it's going to come very close to the other end, which you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. Now, remember that thin wire we soldered to the top of the CCFL tube or the top of the lightsaber? 
Well, that wire has an end, right? So we're gonna have to bring that, run that down along the tube, all the way down, and then solder the end of this thin wire to another strip of that 30 gauge cable. So another 18 inch to 24 inch strip of cable. And we're gonna solder that cable to the end of the wire. And of course, tug on it a little bit, make sure it's the soldering worked. So now that thin piece of wire should be soldered to the top of the CCFL. The other end of the thin piece of wire should be soldered to the 30 gauge cable. Plus, you've got another strip of 30 gauge cable soldered to the bottom of the CCFL tube. Don't forget to use liquid electrical tape to cover up those soldered areas. Now I'm gonna use clear heat shrink. Very important that it's clear, of course, because we want the light to shine through. But this is four millimeter clear heat shrink tubing. And I'm going to cut it about as long as, well, I should say a little longer than the tube. Leave some area at the top and leave a little bit about half an inch at the bottom of the tube. You want that extra inch or inch and a half at the top just so that you can grasp it later. I'm going to use a heat gun. Yes, you can use a lighter, it's heat shrink, but because we want it to remain clear, I don't want a chance, you know, burning or leaving scorch marks on the heat shrink. So I'm just gonna use my heat gun, but you can use a lighter if you'd like. And I'm going to just slowly, you know, you've probably done this before in heat shrink, but slowly use the heat gun to actually shrink the heat shrink from the top all the way down to the bottom. And once you've done with this, you've essentially created your 1-6 scale lightsaber. Granted, there's a couple more parts here, but the electronics are basically done. I've gone ahead and put a tiny strip of black electrical tape right where my left hand is, my index finger and my thumb, just around the two wires there because both wires were previously separate, individually insulated. So the extra electrical tape is just to keep the wires together at the bottom there. I'm going to use this alligator clip just to easily handle the CCFL tube while I paint it. Um, I'm going to use Minotaur, which is a brand by Badger or a line by Badger. And they make these ghost tints, which are transparent paints, which is great. I'm going to use their fresh blood color and their golden yellow color mixed one to one, 50-50, um, to produce the red I want for this lightsaber. Now, we previously saw this already lights up in red, but we want the lightsaber to look red when it's not on as well. So that's why we're painting this clear uh, heat shrink and just going at it with an airbrush. But we got to remember, we got to paint the hilt too, because this is a 3D printed hilt. If you did this on your Hot Toys uh, hilt, then you don't need to do this. But I'm just priming it with uh, Steinal Res. Is that what it was? It's a, um, a primer by Badger, and it works great. It's a great primer for miniatures. Um, and I'm going to use Vallejo Metal Color. This is a dual aluminum. And it's just, this is great. Their metal color line by uh, Vallejo is excellent for airbrushing. Uh, and dual, I have a lot of silver colors. I just like this dual aluminum. Um, I just picked it out, and it works fine. So just uh, light coating here. And that should work. And Vallejo Pure Black here. Just going to hand brush the black details on the lightsaber. No big deal here. Most of this hilt is going to be covered by Vader's hand anyways. So just taking my time here to fill in the details. And the only thing after that would be to seal it. And I'm going to use Pledge. Floor Care Future Finish. And this is no secret. A lot of modelers use this floor polish as a gloss coat. It works awesome. It goes through the airbrush perfectly. It's uh, You can dilute it with water. It's just great. So uh, now that I've sealed that, now comes the fun part. Building uh, the lightsaber or connecting the tube to the hilt. So whether you've got a 3D printed hilt or a Hot Toys hilt. We're going to try to join these two cables 
these two cables will not remain joined so don't solder these together we're just going to tie them together so they're easier to pass through the tiny hole in this halfway point at the hilt there and then you'll pull both of those 30 gauge wires through simultaneously and there you go you were set up to now adhere uh, the CCFL tube into the hilt now I'm cutting an extra piece of electrical tape because I guess I did a pretty decent job of keeping everything tight and compact and actually I, I can actually use a little bit more width here at the bottom of the CCFL and gluing it into the hilt and what I'm going to use to glue it is I prefer you can use super glue I prefer to use a two-part epoxy here uh, the hold is better so this is just gorilla glue epoxy just mix a tiny little bit here and this dry goes on clear dries clear and then I can apply it with a toothpick any small applicator will work I'm just using a toothpick I'm going to shove it down the shaft here and when I'm ready when I've put enough of this adhesive this epoxy there I'll just slide in the CCFL tube uh, to make sure that the black part, which is the electrical tape, at the bottom there is not visible or is inside the hilt. And I'm just going to push that through, make sure that the wire is also coming out as I do that. Of the middle there, so it's not getting jammed in there. And that's it. Just hold it a little bit, make sure it stays in place as it dries doesn't take that long to dry and what I'd like to do is kind of just braid the two wires and you can do this quickly if you have a electric um, screwdriver but uh, once you do that then you take this this connector piece remember when we cut this off originally I said to keep it well now you're gonna need it so you're gonna solder this back on to the two wires you know wire to wire once one wire to the other wire and same thing on the other end so that's it. Once you've done this, you have your completed CCFL lightsaber. And once you solder this to two uh, wires, make sure to insulate it with electrical uh, liquid electrical tape or you know normal electrical tape. Uh, cover that up individually so that you can't be together. You don't want to short it out, right? So make sure each wire itself is covered up and you should then be good to go. Love this uh, liquid electrical tape. It works great. Smells pretty bad, but does work great. And once that's dried, I'm just gonna use a piece of regular electrical tape and seal this up here. And I use, as you can see, I used gray 30 gauge wire but you can use any color red black for vader black probably would have been a better choice uh and actually you know what let's see if it works before we do one final thing let's check this out here and yep moment of truth is always so rewarding when you've done everything correctly by the way don't don't feel bad if it doesn't work <laughs> Don't feel bad. Uh, it didn't work my first time either, and I had to go back and do it again. But now that we know it works, we're going to cut off the additional part of the heat shrink tubing at the tip there. Make sure you're looking at it <laughs> appropriately. You don't want to cut into the CCFL glass tube. That would be terrible. And you don't want to cut the soldered component at the tip there. But when you're done, you can make this look a whole lot better. To me, this is like night and day. You can actually see the lightsaber now in the figure's hand. Uh, before that transparent piece of plastic is, you know, it's what else can you do? You know, that I get it. But hey, if you can make this upgrade, I love it. You know, I used a gray wire there and you can clearly see it. But if you used a black wire, it'd be great. But yeah, I used gray wire because that's all I had. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you can now make your own CCFL lightsabers. Please remember to like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and then until next time guys, 
stay crafted.